previously on Two and a Half Men. Zoe, will you do me the honor of becoming Zoe Hyde Tottenham Pierce Schmidt? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I can't do it. <laughs> I need an answer. There's someone else. Man. Like that red dress on you. I feel like a bull. Want to charge? Speaking of charging, did you bring your wallet this time? The last two times were honest mistakes, <laughs> and I fully intend to pay you back. <laughs> oh, that's just great, Justin. If your mom says it's bath time, by all means, take a bath. <laughs> Meanwhile, the free world has fallen into the hands of cyber terrorists. You okay? Yeah. My sniper's got to get ready for sixth grade picture day tomorrow. <laughs> you guys look nice. Oh, thanks. We're going out to dinner. Want to join us? No, I got a burrito in the microwave. Okay, enjoy. Oh, you did take the foil off of the. Uh... I'll get my coat. <laughs> Your wallet? Uh, yes, that's uh, uh, I, 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 I put it there so I wouldn't get it. I met on the internet for too long. <laughs> now that I say that out loud, I'm really glad we did this. Mm. I'll get this. I'll get it. Oh, okay, I guess I'm really gonna get this. Thanks, Al. Oh, it's my pleasure. <clears throat> Are you crying? What? No, no, I have, uh, I have allergies. It's probably the dust from opening his wallet. <laughs> Racing. I, mean, I was talking to Walden. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I thought seeing her with somebody else would be the end of the world, but I'm really okay with it. Well, you're a better man than I am. We all know that, Alan. Yeah, I guess what I'm saying is it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I mean, clearly Alan has some unresolved issues. But I think I'm ready to move on. I can definitely help you there. Uh, uh, where are you going with this week? I have a ton of friends who would die to go out with you. Really? Oh, yeah. That, 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 that's true. She has some of the hottest friends you can imagine. Uh, uh, that, that, that you can imagine. Not that I would. I mean, why would I? You're the hottest of them all, you know? So what's your type? I don't know if I have a type. I mean, I, I like brunettes. Well, well but I married a redhead, and I've dated some blonde, so I guess... What I'm saying is I'm pro-hair. In the upper deck, not necessarily around the dugout. Uh, interesting. Uh, if you're going to go with a, a baseball reference, uh, I would have gone with on the mound. They all have hair in the appropriate places. Well, I don't know. I, I like a girl who's smart. I like a girl who's funny. I like a girl who's not going to leave me for another guy. <laughs> oh, oh, and no one who wears those big furry boots with shorts or miniskirts, you're either 
hot or you're cold. Take a stand, ladies. I'll take care of it. So, Walden, as I told you, Jennifer's my Pilates instructor. Yeah, Pilates. Well, you're certainly whipping Lindsay into shape. Not that you need it. Not that I was looking. Not that you're listening. Oh, can I take a picture of you? Okay. Uploading photo to wall. Check out my hot day. <laughs> Smiley face. <laughs> LOL, right? <laughs> so, Pilates. That's all about strengthening the core, right? Hmm? <laughs> OMG, cat in a bow tie riding a skate? I think there's one person already likes our date. Unfriend. That's <laughs> what looks good to you. Actually, I'm not gonna eat. No, I'm doing a master cleanse, so I haven't eaten solid food in two weeks. Dawn, you might have mentioned that when I told you we were all going out to dinner. No, it's no problem. You guys eat. This stuff just flushes you right out. Well, I guess it's worth it if it rids the body of all those toxins and impurities. Right. And the stuff that comes out of you, I swear, I found a Barbie head that I swallowed in the fifth grade. Good thing you didn't swallow from Malibu Beach House. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Oh, whatever you're doing, it's working. You look great. Thank you. I also inject myself with the urine of pregnant women. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to eat either. It's got a hormone in it that helps you lose weight. Oh, which is ironic because pregnant women pack on the pounds. I will never be fat. <laughs> or married. I can't believe you created and sold your own company. You must be incredibly smart. I, I don't know. I think it's more luck and timing. I think it takes a little bit more than luck and timing to make $1.4 billion. Somebody did their research? <laughs> I bet women are after you all the time. I mean, you could look like him and they'd still be after you. <laughs> you know what these women are thinking, don't you? I mean, is this guy going to ask for a prenup? Because <laughs> theoretically, your alimony payments are... 75, 100 grand a month at least, and that's without child support. Good at math. You know, I never thought I wanted kids, but the right person, I could see myself having an entire litter. I could see myself having a vasectomy. <laughs> when she's on her meds, she's actually lots of fun. She's got another friend. She says this one's perfect. No, no more women, Ellen. Wait, they were all women, right? In the eyes of the law, yes. The Olympics? Uh. Look, I, I know some of the dates didn't work out. Didn't work out? One of them used her roast chicken to show me where she was probed by aliens. Uh, but you have to admit, the chicken was out of this world. <laughs> You do know Lindsay and I are just trying to help. Yeah, I do. And I appreciate it. But I think I was wrong. I just don't think I'm ready to have her. You know, I, my whole life, I've jumped from one woman to the next. I thought that was just because every time you jumped, another woman slid in under you. Just that. Uh, let's face it, Alan. I went straight from my mother's house to being married to Bridget, from Bridget to dating Zoe, and now I'm trying to go from Zoe to a bunch of starving, crying, gold-digging, crazy-ass bitches. <laughs> Hey, if it weren't for those women, I'd still be a virgin. <laughs> There'd be no reality TV stars. <laughs> Look, I'm just going to be alone for a while, and if the real thing comes along, I'll know it. That's true. You know, I can still remember the exact instant that I knew Lindsay was the one. How'd you know? Uh, she said, I give up, you're the one. <laughs> hey, Walden. Hey. You here by yourself? Yes, I'm alone. And I plan to stay that way. Well, if you change your mind, there's a bachelorette party in the corner with a couple of drunk and bitter bridesmaids. Fish in a barrel. It's good to know. Not to know. All right. What can I get you? All the beer. Coming up. Excuse me. 
cloning me and run my doppelganger for president so you can be puppet master of the nation? Guilty. <laughs> Better get a sample right now. <laughs> I get hair, DNA. I, I, I'm worrying. I, don't you have somewhere you need to be? Well, as a matter of fact, Lindsay and I were going to the movies. Have a good time. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Watch yourself, buddy. He means well. I know. Can I pour you a glass of wine? Yeah, that would be great. Uh. Aha! <laughs> Actually, I just forgot my keys. <laughs> and your wallet. <laughs> Oof. Shouldn't eat that whole tub of popcorn. I'm gonna be gassy all night. You know, it's gonna take more than a bloated belly to put a muzzle on Mr. Poke. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this. You got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Walden? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm coming in! I told you she was nuts. Ugh. Get out of here! What? Get out of here! I'm having the best sex of my life! Oh, hi, Alan. How was the movie? Hey, but wait, is that a leaf blower? That's not what they call it in Amsterdam. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 